Hello everybody, this is John Kranz with Compass Games and I wanted to shoot a quick video to help explain or address the question of where one would locate the plateau hexes in the African campaign game. I know we've had one or two comments online already and a few others have asked about it as well who haven't received the game yet. So this is basically to give you a quick sneak peek into where the plateau hexes are and hopefully that will address any concerns as far as um, if there's any perceived difficulty in locating them. So what you see here is actually a Sun Tzu game box for playing online similar to Vassal. It's going to be available soon and I'm going to just use this for purposes of explaining the plateau hexes and you can see here basically the entire game uh, set up using Sun Tzu and uh, what I'd like to do now is let's go ahead and take a look at the game map. So I'm going to uh, zoom in now to the game map and I want to start actually with the train effects chart so let's uh, going to zoom in quite a bit and the reason I wanted to do that was just to point out uh, for the game itself you'll see there's very few uh, types of train in the game uh, that one would need to be concerned about and actually it's really there's just clear train and ridges uh, if one looks at it that way those are really the two predominant types it's either clear or a ridge hex uh, but we do have plat plateaus that will interact with the ridge hexes themselves and a plateau does need uh, will be next to a ridge hex as well so that's just sort of a, a quick hint as to where you'll find the plateau hexes that they're always going to be basically in the area of ridges in order for them to exist so again as you can see very few train types here so let's now let's zoom back out on the map and I want to actually give you a quick um, give you a quick uh, view of where you could actually spot the plateau hexes even in this uh, zoomed out view. So I think this is one good way to look at it is um, even if we didn't have any separate or special um, train effects for plateaus of what they would look like to help the players. Um, one way to find them is any anything that's basically uh, enclosed around a ridge line. So you'll notice here we have four hexes that are enclosed around a, a solid ridge line. We have another area here on the map. This is the second area. Again, a ridge line covering the whole expanse of these hexes. And then down here near Egypt, uh, bottom right, we have a quite a large area, again, surrounded by ridge lines. Um, so all these three clumps, so just, just taking a quick look at the map, all these three areas, one, two, and three, these are all plateau hexes located within the ridge lines. So that's how, how quick and easy it is to basically spot those real quickly. But now there is one exception that are there where they're not all, you know, embedded within a ridge line. And I'm going to zoom in on it now. There's just one other area on the game map, and that's in the area of El Adem. So for the area of El Adem, we have a ridge line and one tip off as well of where you'll find a plateau a hexide or hex is you'll notice the ridge lines get cut off right on the hex side where the hexes meet. So here's a ridge line but notice there's no soft ending uh, it's it's an abrupt it's an abrupt end to the ridge line right on that hex side and then you'll see here this is that plateau effect uh, this 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 little glow area so from the area of 1223 I'll use a unit actually so starting with 1223 we can see the ridge line and how it's cut off at the at the hex side and then I can just basically move along the ridge line and you can see sort of that color effect for the for the plateau uh, and it ends here. So that is that is the one exception. We have these uh, th six hexes uh, in the game where it's not enclosed compared to these other three areas where those are all plateau hexes. So I hope that helps explain fairly quickly, you know, how you can find those plateau hexes in the game. What I want to do now is, um, as a little bonus segment here, let's talk about how it, it how it comes into effect in gameplay. So let's as, as, let's assume the allied player has a unit defending here. We have got um, South African. 2nd Infantry Division occupying a ridge hex, which is 0733. And as a reminder for the train effects, and I'll, I'll go there now just to show you the train effects chart. Um, if you occupy a ridge line, so sorry while I zoom in here. So let's look at the, let's look at the effects. Uh, units must stop. Okay, that's fine. Units on ridges are doubled in defense. So that's a key factor. Any unit defending on a ridge is doubled on defense and that's where the plateaus are important because if you have a unit on a plateau next to them that are attacking you can negate that doubling effect negate that defensive bonus so that's that's why that's an important effect on gameplay so again per the rules I'm going to zoom in here uh, here we have a defending unit South African 2nd Infantry Division on a ridge hex so if theoretically I've got the German 90th um, 
coming in to do an attack on this unit right now as you see it uh, this uh, allied unit would be doubled on defense as it also would be if I occupied a ridge hex uh, next to it as well again in all these situations for these four hexes um, the unit would be doubled on defense now let's say I had an Italian unit that uh, I could bring into play and I bring in here Serini unit uh, division infantry division and I'm going to drop him down here on a plateau hex so now by definition of this unit is uh, part of the attack it's participating in this combined attack the defender double has been negated because we now have an Italian unit that's on a plateau hex next to the unit defending on the ridge and actually there's two choices I can be in 0833 or I can be in 0734 so these two locations would be eligible to cancel the doubling effect I wouldn't even need a second unit uh, if for example I also had a unit just attacking one on one from 0734 against the unit on the ridge so again that's just to explain the rules of how the doubling effects work so the, the trick is you want to have some unit uh, occupying one of those plateau hexes which is the two units uh, two locations here uh, so again just a real important to point out now I want to mention that ridges are considered hexes in the game so I want to give you another example of how ridges might apply so let's say for example we have the British unit now located here on LDM 1127 and again ridge ridges by definition are hexes as well as the plateaus so one might argue well let's see this shouldn't be a double this shouldn't negate the doubling effect here because there's really no ridge line going between these two connected hexes there's no ridge between uh, 1126 and 1127 but remember we're going by the hex the hex feature so basically since 1127 does have a ridge in it in LDM and since this is a plateau hex we can still apply that negation effect that there's no doubling uh, for the defender much like if we were located here you know of course it helps that there's a ridge line here that makes that obvious but there is just one exception in the game where there's no ridge line running along this line but again it's not about so much the ridge line it's that it's a ridge hex and that we have a plateau hex so go ahead and apply the uh, the uh, negation that the defender will not be um, not be doubled uh, in this case here so here the defender uh, is on a ridge hex so he would be doubled on defense because I'm not on a plateau hex but here yes then I can negate the defender being doubled by having a unit in any of these three hexes because these are the three plateaus so I hope that little summary helps so again just to summarize we've got three general areas where we've got plateaus in the game it's the big uh, I want to just call them clumps of area that are surrounded by ridge lines we've got one two three here and then we've got just that ridge line or the fourth area right here in the area of El Adem and again notice again that the ridges themselves they get cut off right along that hex side where that little uh, train effect will pop in to show that it's a plateau hex so I think that's another uh, benefit and easy way to identify it so again I hope that helps uh, answer some questions especially for those who uh, don't have the game yet and are wondering how tough is it going to be to find uh, tableau hexes in the game and I appreciate you watching this short clip take care and enjoy the game